Hi everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Wait for people to jump on. Oh, we have a few people coming on. You got all the comments or the thing up there, honey? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Carla squared. How is everybody tonight? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Donna. Hey, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my angel quite like you did yours, Michelle. Holy man. That was a stunner. I'm doing mine a little more simplified for the first one. Not that yours was hard. Mine's really, really easy. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing another one on um, Hardworking Mom's page. So, if you watched Michelle's last night, and then you watch mine tonight, and then you watch another one tomorrow on Hardworking Mom's, Hi, T Tammy. Hi, everybody. You'll get to see three angels made. Now, there's no right or wrong. Nah, yours was really nice, Michelle. <laughs> there's no right or wrong to making these. It's whatever you like or want to do with your wreath. Um, I'm just going to give you the basic tools on how to do it. Hi, Mom. Dave is here. He's very quiet. Why are you so quiet? No, he's just... Oh, he's like meh. Um, so we are going to be using the Unique in the Creek tree board. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Such a simple looking thing that can make so many things. I can't wait to show you guys what's next on my list of things to do with the Christmas tree. So, yes, I do have a list. Mom says hi. Seen it, hi. <laughs> yeah, so I do have a list of all different things, even flowers. I have still have a list of a bunch of flowers I want to make still with the flower boards. But um, I'm just gonna wait for the plastic to come before I start teaching anymore, and or or even the rose. So today I'm making an angel. This is the first angel I made. It's pretty, it's really, you can see how big it is. So you can see, there's the wings, and the head, and that sparkly bow, and that's the back of the, the wreath frame. I didn't cut the wire off for the bow here, but this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make tonight, okay? This one. So, it's going to be similar to that one, but I'm going to be using three different meshes. Um, I'm going to be using this uh, basket weave mesh. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, that I bought at AC Moore. I used this on the Christmas tree uh, a couple weeks back, and I really, really like it. This is my last roll, so I'm going over to the States and going to get some more. Um, hopefully, it'll still be on sale. But I'm going to be using this. I just love the uh, pattern of it and I'm also going to be using the, just a simple white deco mesh now if you're going to do your whole angel in just this plain deco mesh I would suggest using two pieces um, for every other uh, zip tie okay because this is it's pretty thin and because it's white uh, and, you know, there's no really color to it. Uh, you're going to need double pieces of it to cover the board, okay, and to get the fullness. Um, I like to use it as a filler because nor this is just white iridescent deco mesh, and it's, it's pretty cheap, right? So I rather use this as a filler, so I use it as every other one. And then I'll pick something like this that has more structure to it, and it's much thicker. Or even, this is, this is a really, really metallic 
deco mesh. I hope you guys can see that. It's a, a premium deco mesh and it's quite more expensive, but I only use, I don't, I wouldn't do the whole thing in this. I'm going to only use this for the wings because I want the wings. Hi, Patsy. I want the wings to stand out a bit. So I'm just going to use just this on the wings. And then I'm going to use these two on the body of the angel. So this basket weed and then this just normal white iridescent deco mesh. The both, all of them are 10 inches. Oh, bird. She's not covered up enough. All of these are 10 inches. So that's what we'll be using, 10 inch pieces. And I'm going to be cutting them 9 inches long. You can cut them 10 inches, but that extra inch gives you a couple more petals. Um, so why waste it? Um, now, for the head, there's various ways you can make the head. Um, if you watched Michelle from last night, she used uh, a three and a half inch ornament, I believe, and painted it, and it looked fabulous. I know, the bird always has something to say. It's at AC Moore, Mom. Oh, I'm glad, Patsy. I made it for you, the wolves. Um, or what else you can do. Here's a few ideas. Now, what I'm using is a six inch, just a six inch uh, styrofoam ball. And I cut the styrofoam ball in half with a wood burner. Hi, Dolores. Um, I did it outside because it's pretty stinky. So I cut and made a, like an, an indent in. So it was down about a quarter of an inch down the indent. And then once it was, what's it called? Skate, no, it's. What? When you're just, anyways, I just, with, with the indent, then I went in with a bread knife, you know, bread, scored, scored, that's the word, I knew it was a sk word, yeah. <laughs> sk word, uh, hi Karen, welcome, um, then I used a bread knife, you know, the serrated bread knife, and I just continued cutting it down the center, so, uh, with one styrofoam ball, you can get two heads, so this is, that's the back side. So you're not even going to see the back side because I'm going to be gluing it right to the board. Is the right hemisphere or the left hemisphere? Oh, are you going to be the brain. dumb questions to me again? Anyways, this is what I'm going to use tonight. Um, now, I did add some of this. Uh, I covered it with some of this glitter glue. See how it's iridescent? It's still a little bit wet. I guess I should have waited. I should have did it like a lot earlier. But it's got like a a shine to it. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it'll match the deco mesh. So it does have a shine. I am also going to be using, I got this at Michael's. It's just one of those, it's called a marabou um, boa. So it's a very thin boa. So it's not the thick feathery kind. And this one has like tinsel on it. And I bought a roll of it. It comes like wrapped like this around a piece of cardboard. And I bought a roll of it, I think for, I got, for a coupon, I got it for like two bucks. So, this is the last of it. And I've, I've used this quite a few times for different projects. So you can get, you only need one, you can get quite a few halos out of your uh, boa with doing it this way. I that you're so smart. I'm so smart! What was the silver called for the wings? What was the what? Oh, it's just a premium metallic. Um, I think they call it white silver or crystal silver or something. I believe I got it out at, at Paper Mart, but they have it at Craft Outlet. I actually have this on my website. I think I still have some, but it's really pretty. You guys can see the glitter in it. it it's called. It's just a premium metallic deco mesh. So pretty much the whole thing is metallic stripes. Now, it's not the friendliest to use because it is all full of metallic stripes. So I'm going to only use it um, for the wings and just to make the wings a little bit special and uh, different from the rest of the angel. Um, and it's expensive. So one roll, if I did it like if I was making a whole bunch of angels, you could get a whole a lot of wings out of one roll. And then I'm using the basket. And then again, just the plain deco mesh. Get some plain looking deco mesh like I said in there for some filler so you don't use all your expensive stuff because um, even if you used all of this for the angel it would be really really sparkly but I think it would be a little bit too much you know what I mean um, so I just like to have it sporadic 
in places. Sporadic. Sporadic. Sporadically. I'm going to use them on the wings. Word of the day. Sporadic. Yep. So I cut my ball in half. I what got my ha halo. What was the boa called again? It's called, it, they're called marabou, M-A-R-I-B-O-U, uh, feather boas. And they're very fuzzy and they're thin. So they're not thick and feathery like uh, normal boas. And you find them in the craft section, uh, like Walmart or Hobby Lobby or whatever. Okay? Um, okay, so that's one way you can do your head. And that's what I'm going to do because that's what I used on this one. So I didn't put sparkle or anything on this head. You guys can see that. <laughs> but I did put the marabou uh, feather boa going around it. Now, because I only have to do the front of it, that's why you get a lot. So, I only need a little piece of the boa. So, that's why the uh, that's why it's lasted so long. Or, you can do... Now, I really... This wasn't my favorite, but I just wanted to give you guys options. This is a flat um, styrofoam piece that you get in a two-pack at Dollar Tree. Um, it's in the, uh, where the flowers and stuff are. Um, I just covered this with a fabric that was very glittery, um, and iridescent. So I, and all I did was glued it on the back because you're not going to see the back of your head. Um, so that's another thing you can do to your circle if you want. Or another thing that really worked really nicely, and I'm going to be using it tomorrow, is at Dollar Tree, they have these, I don't know if I, where's my other ones? Anyways, they have these big, large ornaments at Dollar Tree right now. Um, so they're, you know, yay big. And they're $1.25 for one. Now, if you're steady enough and brave enough, you can cut one of these ornaments, because they're just plastic, you can cut it in half down the seam with your wood burner. Now, it did take me a little little bit, and it was you really... It. Huh? You scored it. I scored it, and then I was sawing it. But um, it did work. It did take me a little bit of elbow grease, but I got two sides, so I got two heads out of it. I already used the other head uh, for another one I, I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And you have to sand the edges... Because it does, you can see it's a little bit burnt from my wood burner or whatever. So I'm just going to sand it down. But once you put it on the board, and you can glue it right on the board, you can see how nice it makes for a head. Because you, you could put it way at the top, but uh, if you have a full circle at the top, say if you put your full circle at the top here, because that would be easy just to score the, the foam and push it down on the wreath frame. The only problem was with that is if you're going to hang it on a door or on your wall or something, um, it's not going to sit flat on your wall or your door because it's got the back of the head it will be banging up against it. So if you're going to do something full like this and big like this, you're going to need to cut it in half. Which is just, like I said, a little bit of elbow grease. But it's cheap. So I got a, this one's awesome. I got a stunning head for 50 cents and a little bit of, so look how pretty that is. Okay, so there's a few different ways. You just have to think outside the box. Um, like I said, Michelle used an ornament. Hers turned out beautiful. Um, she did a little bit of a different angel than I'm going to show you guys tonight. Yeah, a jigsaw would be perfect. Donna, no, this is not pegboard. No, this is not pegboard, Donna. This is Unique in the Creek tree frame. And the holes on all our frames are placed strategically so everything layers over top of each other and you won't see the board and stuff like that. And it's really, um, it's really easy to work with. And another thing about our board is you can write your pattern right on the board, okay? Um, so there's no guessing. So what I did on the back of my board here is I wanted to make, now this is going to be the back of the board because I'm using white, so I'm going to use the white side of the board. But on my back, I put where my, the holes where my bow is going to go in. 
and then I put hole the mark the holes so this hole in this hole is where my wings are gonna go in okay so I've also marked it on this side so I won't forget so I think I just put a little arrow yes there's a little arrow there so I remember that's where the wings are going and then I drew a squiggly line here because this is the last row that I'm going to do with the white. The rest up here is not going to be covered with any deco mesh. Okay, so my head's going to go on there. So that's why I said it's going to be a little bit different than Michelle's, um, but it, it's still going to turn out fabulous. And I, I do, I'm going to be doing my wings a little different than Michelle's as well. So you guys are going to, between last night and tonight, you guys are going to be all set to make angels. And I just can't wait to the last thing I'm going to, well, I think this will be the last thing. Hey, eh, hon? The, there's one more thing I really want to make with the tree frame. Um, so, so far I made a tree. And we made a candy corn. We made a few trees. We made candy corn. We made a hat. So a big Santa hat. Um, I'm going to try... It's not confusing, Robin. Honestly, trust me. Once we get going, you'll see how easy it is. Yes, you can order. Uh, you can order the boards on the site. I've pinned the site at the bottom of the page. Oh, good boy. I you must be there. tired. You're very quiet today. I am tired. Oh. Um. So what did we make? We made a few different types of trees. We made the Santa hat. We're making an angel. We made a candy corn. I made an ice cream uh, uh, cone. Uh, I made a candy corn. Oh, Dave made the candy corn, and it turned out great. Um, yes, it can be bought on our website. Um, and then I have one more thing I want to make with the, the Christmas tree board, and that'll be it for, for Christmas. Then you guys, I'll let you loose, and I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with. Wait, that's it, that's it. What do you mean that's it? Well, th for designs for, till Christmas. Cause you I, do nothing else? Well, no, I mean, like, with the tree. I, I have one more thing you can make with the tree. Oh, so I had trees, angels, hat, candy corn, ice cream cone, okay. and I'm making one more thing. I'm sure others will come up with a lot more, but Hi, Jackie. I got to I got to start focusing on convention and getting all the stuff ready for that. And so I'm going to be it's going to be really busy October. So Hobby Lobby has white wings and feathers 40% off. Cool. Yes, I bought some uh, feathered wings, which I'm going to be using tomorrow night's uh, Facebook Live on um, Hardworking Mom. Um, so I ordered them. I just ordered them on Amazon. Kids don't forget Dave. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't forget Dave. He's quiet today. He he worked a lot. Um, anyways, so let's get started. So what I've done... No, the candy corn's not nearby. Sorry. Oh, it's way over there. <laughs> Well, since I made it, I'll go get yeah. it. And I'm still <laughs> juicing. No no blue mountains. I'm still doing a juice. Do I look thinner yet? <laughs> I feel a little bit healthier. Um, I was getting really, really run down, and I haven't wasn't eating properly and stuff like that. Oh, God, here it comes. <laughs> You're a freak. Go away with yourself. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Oh, look, my, my babies are on. Hi, babies. I miss you. I love you. But keep your germs there. I know mommy said that you guys were sick. Allie, I love you. I love you, Jack. But you need to go back to school tomorrow. Um, No, I've just been doing a juice. It's a juice cleanse. It's a, supposed to be like a four-day juice cleanse. And I extended it another week because I was enjoying it so much. So what I've been doing, there's like five different juices I drink, and it's numbered. So this is number four for the day. And they're just pure fruits and vegetables. And because I've been so busy and haven't been eating properly, this is, I'm supplementing, you know, breakfast and lunch and everything to make sure I get nourishment. And then just eating protein for dinner. And I'm actually quite enjoying it. Um, it's quite, it's expensive. But you know what? I don't have any other bad habits, so um, here's to my juice. <laughs> and and then the extra you can buy, which I've bought, in, is this stuff. Now, it looks really gross, but it's delicious. It is activated charcoal <gasps> lemonade. I've already thought of a pizza slice, and no, I'm not making a pizza slice. <laughs> 
If you want to make a pizza slice, you can make a pizza slice. <laughs> that was on my list and I crossed it out. Anyways, this is activated charcoal lemonade. It's delicious. I don't know. The program, it's not really a program. It's just a local company, a uh, small business that does juices and they actually deliver them to my house and they're like really really fresh like we're talking like the green one looks disgusting it looks like swamp and stuff but yes i will be drinking the mountain soon michelle i promise but, but got to get healthy first so anyways this is l black lemonade made with activated charcoal and the activated charcoal t pulls all the toxins out and uh, attaches it to them and i guess it goes out in your urine so but it's delicious so anyways that's enough about that i'm feeling great now one more swig and let's go. Pizza slices. All right, here we go. Now, this isn't going to take long because you know me. I've already prepped ahead of time. Why are you frozen? Oh, did you unfrip? No. Uh -huh. You might have. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I'm sure if you Google um, fresh yeah, juices, I'm sure if we have it here in our little t city, then I'm sure they're everywhere. Um, ours is called Farmer Jack's. But anyways, okay, so what I usually do if you're new to here, I turn down the, um, I turn down the camera and Dave reads all the comments and stuff so you can still keep talking to us. Um, we're both a little, little tired, so I don't know if it's going to get silly I, like usual. I comment, I comment, I comment, I, I, I talk a lot. You do talk a lot. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys down. Here we go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that, see me. If you can't, if you're having problems, yell at Dave. Oh, Jack G in the house! I love my boys. I have not seen them for months. I, it's just... You keep going blurry. I do. If it, if, it, if it looks blurry to you, just go out and come back in. Sometimes that helps. Anyways, um, I cut, I'm cutting all my pieces into nine inches and if you're new to me um, I'll show you how I cut mine really fast now if I could find my rotary cutter I probably would have cut some of it with my rotary cutter especially for the wings so they wouldn't fray but I could not find them I think they're all down at my warehouse I, I forgot to bring back so I'm just gonna cut it my normal way so this is a nine inch piece of cardboard so nine inches from here to here rotary cutter and you're going to put this, no, it's not very straight down at the end here. Where's my skizzers? Where my skizzers at? Yeah. All right. Oh, if you're also new to me, I use electric scissors. They're from Amazon. They're the best thing ever, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so you put your nine inch piece down and then I flip it over. Okay, and then I flip it over again. Now I keep flipping. Now if you're just using scissors, I would flip maybe four or five times. Oh, I'm at the end. Okay. Now that I use electric scissors, I can go around about eight times and cut down the sides. This just cuts down on your, um, how much, how much time you spend cutting mesh. Because let's face it, that's like a huge thing in wreathing unless you're doing poofs. Um, normally, I don't do wreaths that you actually see the edges, but the angel that I'm doing right now is going to be a little bit different. You will see the edges, um, but I'm not worried too much because they do all overlap, so you don't see much fray whatsoever. Now, the petal that uh, Michelle did last night for her angel, um, she, you don't see the sides on her angel except for the wings as well. So, Alex G. Alex G. Uh, I love my boys. That's it. I gotta go over and see them. I miss, I miss them so much. So you take your scissors and you're gonna go along the side and just cut down the side and make sure you got right through. Flip it over. Now don't let it go. Who are the scissors made by? Uh, you know what? I, I've been doing this for how many months now and I still do not know. This is awful branding for this product. I bought these scissors about a year and a half ago now and I bought them on Amazon and I have no clue who makes them. There is no name 
whatsoever on this product at all. Um, so I think it might be simplicity. But there's new ones now. There's even pink ones now. And I think since I've been doing Facebook Lives, they've run out of stock a lot on <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> so, yes, they do have pink ones now. I think they're simplicity ones. But these have lasted me forever. This is the same blade because I'm not really cutting anything to make it dull. What, babe? Just put the camera up a bit. Put it up a bit? Yeah, it keeps going blurry. Is it... Patricia is Pink Power from Amazon, and they're awesome. There you go. So they're probably made the same brand. I can't see too many companies making these, but they're very handy. I love them, too, especially since I don't really do a lot of reefs that you can see the edges. So I can cut a whole roll of mesh less than five minutes. What? Oh, the, it's just a small business that's local here. In um, Stony Creek or Hamilton. But you can do any juice thing. I just found th this company, it's all organic juices. And they're freshly made, so they deliver them to me every four days. And, um, and I'm just absolutely loving it. And I am a very, really bad sugar addict. And I'm really bad for eating at night in bed. Because when I go to bed, I like to watch my TV. I like to snack. Because when I go to bed, it's really the only time I actually get to relax. And I like to do... Um, Somebody's getting carried away with the hearts. What I like to do... Jack G. Jack G. Or um, Jack e or Alex G. One of them. When I go to bed. But I found even with the juicing now, it's... Um, taking away my sugar craving, which is amazing because it's, it was pretty bad there. Like literally I, if, if I got rained on, I'd probably melt cause I just made of sugar. What? Well, oh, Jack G stop with the heart. <laughs> okay. So oh, you, oh. what? Okay. We got our board. So the next thing you're going to do, is it from the supermarket? No. no, no, it's just a local company around here. So, get your mesh cut, okay? Once you got all your mesh cut, put your mesh in with a p clothespin. Stop with the fruit, Jack. Um, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 58 pieces. You're going to need 58 pieces. Now, I'm not going right to the top. Um, but, saying that, the technique I'm going to show you, I have not done on a Christmas tree. So this technique I'm going to show you can this be This is a Lori exclusive tonight. Can be very much used as a Christmas tree, okay? And you guys will see what I mean in one second. Such a good tie somebody else. I, I always use 18 pound zip ties, so oh, that's man. really what matters is 18 pounds means they're the head of the zip tie is quite small. Uh, right, uh, it's hard to see. See, it's quite small. I'm using 8 inch lengths. You can use 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 12. As long as it's 18 pound strength. That's what really matters when you're doing your zip ties. Um, now, you don't have to use zip ties. You guys know that. You can use uh, pipe cleaners. But when I show you how easy this is, you're going to want to spend the money on zip ties. And really, they're not that expensive. So, um, everybody used to get them from Amazon. Now, we sold Amazon out. Um, taking, are you taking credit for selling out uh, Amazon? I am. Amazon should be worthy of me. They should be. I should be an affiliate. I really should. Anyways, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put zip ties in your board. All the way up to here is where I marked my board, okay? To do your zip ties, you're going from the bottom. Okay, so we're going through the bottom hole here. You're going up, over, and down 
the corresponding hole and you're just going to click it until you hear a, like a zipping sound and when you pull on it, it won't come loose. Okay, so I'll do one more and you're going to do your whole board. So every two holes is going to have a zip tie. So you're going to go and now I always go through the very first hole through every one. That way when I'm finished on the back of my board, all the heads will be facing the exact same way. So the bo back of the board will look really, really neat. Okay. Um, where's my, I'll show you the one. So that's what the back of my board looks like for the angel I just did. So you can see it's nice that you can have the heads all going in the same direction. So if you get yourself used to going in the same hole all the time, uh, then after a while you don't even think about it anymore because it's just automatic. So you're going to fill up your whole board up to one, two, you're going to leave one, two, three. These ones are going to be blank. The rest of them are going to be filled up with zip ties. Oh. Elf hat for the board too. Well, elf hat, Santa hat, witch yeah, hat. Somebody said elf hat. Mm -hmm. Can you go see please? I can see from here. Oh, I can smell it. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. This Usually this is what I do when I'm... Like, no, Lois, it's not pegboard. It's not pegboard. Uh, this is what I usually do when I'm kicked back. Put your put it on your lap. Do it in the car while you're, while you're not driving. Anywhere that, you know, you have nothing to do and you can just sit back and put zip ties in. So you can pre-do all of these and add all your zip ties, okay? So you don't want to do them one at a time, do them all at once, and that way it's, it's quite, it's much easier and faster, okay? So once your zip ties are all in, you can put your board to the side, you're going to make your petals. Okay, so like I said, I'm using two different mes meshes, so I'm going to alternate mesh. So I'm going to use um, what, the basket weave, and then I'll use the plain mesh, then basket weave, plain, basket weave, plain. Now, you guys can use all the same mesh if you want. Like I said, if you're going to use the just plain deco mesh with the metallic in it, make sure you use two pieces per every other, every other um, zip tie, okay? So you get that, that um, filling, like, or that, so it's, it's, what am I trying to say? Oh my God, my dictionary is gone. So you get the fullness. That's it. The fullness. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this basket weave one. So I've cut my pieces nine inches long and it's a 10 inch roll. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get the back of my board so you can see it better. You're going to put it out right in front of you. you know, now you've probably seen this petal done a million times, but it looks so pretty on the angel. And very easy. So once it's in front of you, you got your surged edges on the side and your cut edges are on the top and bottom. You're going to turn it so you're, it looks like a diamond. The curl, Deco Mesh has an automatic curl. It likes to curl up on itself. You're going to put that curl down towards the table. Okay. And what you're going to do, all you're going to do is start from this corner and you're going to scrunch between your thumb and your forefingers all the way up to the other corner okay and then you're gonna bring it to the sides like just like that and I like to just make sure that they're about the same length okay so which they look to be about the same length and I'm very famous well not famous but <laughs> I'm well known for using clothespins clothespins are amazing Get yourself some good old clothespins because they work as extra hands. Yeah, she sold everybody out of those too. Yeah. These particular <laughs> clothespins, everybody asks me where I get my metal clothespins. The metal ones are from Home Depot. They're a li little bit more money, but they work amazing. Like, we're talking vice grip amazing. <laughs> so, but yes, those were at Home Depot. So, I'm going to make a few of these petals, which I've already done. So I'm going to do the same with the thinner plain deco mesh. Okay, again, I'm just going to scrunch from corner to corner in between my thumb and my forefingers. I'm going to turn it. 
make sure it's even and then I'm going to put a clothespin on it okay so if you are very ambitious and have lots of clothespins you can pre-do these and toss them to the side of you or you can do a few like you know about 10 or 20 whatever how many clothespins you have and um, get them all ready and then then you'll be ready to do a couple rows okay so we got our zip ties all in we got our petal made okay this all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your folded petal that you did so this this rounded piece this folded piece is just going into the zip tie you're gonna pull the zip tie down and you're gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of the rounded part in the zip tie okay don't let it go and then once you got it to the board okay you can see my head is to the board and I have about a quarter inch I'm gonna pull these nice and straight you're gonna pull it and you can bring it over and pop it in the hole now don't pull it right tight when you hit the board because if you pull it too tight and you try to pull your zip tie over to get your head into the hole it's going to be very difficult so what I like to do is pull the zip tie and tighten at the same time as it pops into the hole so this is why we use 18 pound zip ties because these holes that we created are fitting the 12 18 pound zip types perfectly so there won't be any mess at the back or no sharp edges or anything to cover up okay so that's our first piece I almost dropped all my zip ties. Yay! Oh. Okay, now I'm going to do this piece. Again, I'm just sticking the mesh in and zipping it till it hits the board. Then you can flip it over and tighten it and pull it. Now, normally when I'm doing it, watching TV, because I'm always watching TV when I make a wreath, um, I do the first row. And then I flip it over and pull them all at the same time. So it saves from flipping it back and forth. Okay, so I'll do a couple more. So again, now I'm using the basket weave. I'm just gonna put the zip tie in, or the mesh in the zip tie. Okay, and you can pull and pop it into the hole. So you're going to do this for all the rows, exactly like this, okay? So once you start putting them in, everything starts to layer upon each other, and you start to form the angel's body. You won't be able to see the sides of the board with this method either, because it does overlap. Now, the way I did this angel, right here, if you want to do it like this, can you hold this for a sec, honey? Okay. As you can see, the bottom part. You said two deco mesh, or did I understand? Did I hold on? Misunderstand. Sorry. Um, this. I forget what I was saying now. Oh, this part of the angel is exactly how I demonstrated. It's just layers with the same um, style, but I've used. A thicker instead of the basket weave I used a premium white uh, deco mesh and then I used just the plain white deco mesh with the metallic in it for a filler so I did it to this row so one two three four the first four rows I did exactly like this okay just like I just showed you now the rest of these rows, so one, two, three, four, five, I did a ruffle method. So it looks, you can tell the difference between the top and the bottom of the angel, okay? And the ruffle method, I'll show you in case you wanna do it. Now why I'm not showing you on my board is because I'm going to continue with my angel doing it this way. I'm gonna do it all the same way because I wanna show you how it would look like doing this method as a Christmas tree as well. So again, the first four rows, you can do it 
like the petal style here. And then the rest of the rows going up, you can do as a ruffle. And I'll show you the ruffle in one second. What did you say about using double of the regular mesh? Oh, every, if you're using normal white mesh, just plain white metallic mesh, uh, use two pieces of mesh for every other one. You could even use two pieces for every one. Like the de this deco mesh, you would only need two rolls, and it's not really expensive, right? Um, so I would use, if you can, use two per, per zip tie. If you can't, just use every other one uh, as a two pieces of, zip, uh, of mesh. And I'll show you how to do that. So what you would do is just do your petal, like, just like I showed you, okay? Swing it around. I guess I should be doing it or something there. Swing it around. Make sure it's even. Will this wreath, will this wreath be for sale? I don't sell my wreaths, but I am bringing it to convention, and that's the only place I will probably sell wreaths. So you do one petal and then do another one. So I, don't do one on top of each other. You won't get the fullness you will if you did two side by side okay and I'm gonna show you what I mean in one second so you got one petal and two petals so these two petals are going to go into one zip tie and that's all I meant about two so it gives you that fullness that you need um, to cover the board and to actually make it sparkle and everything else so I did two pieces here. This one I would do one, then I would do two. I think I would make sure I got two pieces on each corner and all the sides. So no matter how you do your pattern, make sure you have two pieces on each corner if you're using the regular deco mesh, okay? Just so you have that coverage. I'd hate to, for you to do the whole wreath and you'll be able to see the holes. Four rows is the petal. How many rows of the ruffle? The rest of will be the ruffle. So the first four rows you would do like this, and then I'll show you how to do the ruffle. You'll, you, you might want to, the way I'm doing it is really, really going to be really pretty. So where did all of my zip ties go? Oh, I gave them to you. You gave them to me. <laughs> We're not on the ball today. We're not even having fun, honey. Well, I am, but okay. I know. It's just. We're so blood today. Now I got my little arrows here to remind me that's where the wings are going. The wings won't be till the end though. Because every time we talk, it goes downhill and we lose half. I know. Wings. We offend somebody or. <laughs> I gotta go fast though because Isabel's coming on at nine thirty to make a football wreath with Unique in the Creek. Okay, so if you want to do the ruffle from one to from here up, actually it should probably be from here. Um, put your zip ties in just like you had. And the ruffle will be the same, 9 inches by 10 inches. And this time what you're going to do is you have your surged edges on the side. And then you're going to go up the middle just like this. And you make a bow tie looking piece. You're going to flip it so it looks like this. Okay, so instead of pointed, it is ruffled okay and then you're gonna stick it in just like you did your other petal Lois the boards are just white on one side and brown on the other but the flower and the character boards are going to be plastic they're going to be just the light opaque color yeah the one once we get the plastic it won't matter the color won't matter because it's going to be plastic and it's going to be opaque and a neutral color so you won't see the board anyways. She was just asking if it comes in oh. different colors. Oh, no. Right now, we say use the white side for white and ivory colors and use the neutral side for every other color. So again, I'm going to stick my ruffle and then just ruffle it just like that. So you would do the rest of the wreath, the rest of the angel, up to your squiggly line because I have a squiggly line here to remind me this is the last row 
So you would do from here to here, just in ruffle. Okay. Um, I will post a pattern that I used um, after the, if I remember tonight, remind me, honey, yeah. to post what I used and how many pieces and all that stuff for the, this angel. Okay. The ruffles, never mind, I'll do it. So Anyways, don't okay. Don't me how my mini miniature wreaths are coming. I haven't gotten to them oh. yet. I've been busy. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because those are the two petals that you can use. And again, Michelle did one last night, and she used a totally different one. So you can incorporate all three if you want. Now, what I've done is I've pre-done my angel already. Yay. So look how pretty this is. I hope you guys can see it. I have... One, two, three, four more rows left to do. But I really, really love this style. And that's why when I was making this, I thought, you know what? I'm going to keep going with this petal because I really think it's so pretty. And then once I get the wings and everything on, um, it's going to look amazing. Are you going to write out the instructions? Is that what you said? No, I will post like what, how many pieces you need and, oh. you know, the four, four rows is this petal or whatever. Oh. Okay, so I've pre-done this, and I'm going to continue on for the next four rows. So this one I ended on plain deco mesh, so I'm going to use basket weave. So I have my petals already made. Anybody have any exciting news to share with us? Exciting news. Any exciting news besides my Sil's birthday is tomorrow? She's got, she's not one Oh, isn't she? She's gone away. Oh. I love my Sill. I miss her. I just... I don't know. Any of you guys run your own businesses? It's... It's a lot of work, man. <laughs> so, you want to keep these thin... Dave, you sound tired. Yes, Dave is Yeah, tired Dave's today. tired. We're both tired today. You guys could probably tell we're not our giddy selves like we usually oh, are. Yeah. Oh, Night, oh, night, baby boy. I hope you feel better. The new wreath boards, hopefully in another week or so. Yeah. They said two weeks. That was about a week ago. Yeah, they said they can fix it by October, beginning of October. So, And everybody's been asking and emailing. Um, no, we don't have to pay for the mistake because it wasn't our mistake. So, thank God. But it's put us behind two weeks. Like, we had... A lot of plans um, that kind of got kiboshed when they did the mold wrong. But, you know. Anyways, you guys will have, you guys love all the centers I'd made. I tried to get um, anybody that has uh, had put a request in, I tried to make them their request. If there's something that you want and you didn't see, just give me a message, and I'll try and make it for you. Anyways, I had a, had a great party this weekend for her grandson who turned one on Friday. Oh, very good. That was exciting. Oh. We have, how many grandkids do you have, honey? Um, six. Six on the way, or one on, on the way? Six on the way. I mean, one, one's on the way any day. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven, including the one on the way. Or eight. Ten dollars for the tree frame. Yes, the tree frame is ten dollars. Where are you located? In we Nigeria? are in Canada, but um, we ship quite quickly. I think everybody can attest to that. Um, because I have a delivery service going over to the states every day. The, alpha, the alphabet would be nice too. <laughs> what alphabet, huh? Oh. <laughs> Now somebody's going to think it's their idea. What you say, Lee? <laughs> so as you can see, this will make a spectacular tree. So you would just keep coming up and doing up all the way to the top here. And this hole up here is to tie your bow on or whatever you want for your center, your star. I think you were born in Ontario. Was she? Yeah. Where in Ontario? Well, my sister-in-law decided to tell me today that they might be moving, and I'm like, hell no, you're not moving without me. 
Because they said, I guess Jay wants to move somewhere hot, honey. Mm -hmm. So Unique in the Creek might go to America because I they're not leaving without me. Is the shipping high? No, actually it's not. Um, it's the same if you Google U USPS rates. We get them a little bit cheaper because we buy our postage through Shopify. So, it's usually around, and, and it all depends where you live too, guys. Like, if you're like in Hawaii, of course your shipping is going to be high. Or if you're like international. But it's not going to be as high as it is in Canada. Believe it or not, Canadian rates are atrocious. Atrocious. They are atrocious. I sent a package to um, British Columbia. Actually, I had to split the package up because it was a large order. And what it would normally cost, so I just kind of did for shits and giggles the what it would cost to you Florida. The S word on here. Oh, I did. Sorry. Don't leave again, us. I'm offending. Don't leave us. Uh, I'm Don't offending leave everybody us. again. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> it's my trucker mouth. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, I just wanted to see what it would cost for that same order if I shipped it to, say, Florida. And it was $18 to ship it to Florida for both packages. That would be combined. And it ended up costing me over $50 to ship it to British Columbia and Canada, even though I'm in Canada. Like, how stupid is that? Unreal. So the shipping rates are great for the states. They're not so great for Canada at all. And that was cheap shipping. That wasn't even through Canada Post. It would be even higher through, I use a, a third party. So. So I think you can probably get about four or five boards for about seven, eight dollars in shipping, I think. Depending what boards you buy. Like the horse board and the tree board. I don't know, I'm production. Yeah, I know. It's actually not that high. It's not as high as you think. Some of us love your trucker mode. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it's not everybody, because we always lose a bunch of people when we start talking. We do lives and we lose people. I think I offend them. <laughs> it's either, it's either our, our off-color jokes or our swearing. <laughs> We're mad today. We're just, wow. Uh, maybe it's the weather, because it's like been pouring rain all day. And this rain wreaks havoc on my body. I kind of went out of, I kind of went out of source here. Look at, oh well, nobody will tell. There's no mistakes in crafting. No mistakes in crafting. No mistakes in crafting. So I have one more row to do and her body is done. I will probably go around and trim up my phrase. But as you can see, most of the phrase kind of just blend in with all the mesh anyways. Can you guys, can you see that pretty good on your computer? What? I should have, I should have put a black background on the have back. Have you tried shipping ground so it's cheaper? Uh, all this ship It's ground. all ground. We use the ship as, cheapest we can get. All right, so there, I put it behind a brown board. Aw, Nita says, your mouth is not offensive to me because you are such a sweetheart. Aw, thank you. I try. You're just real people. Yeah, I'm kind of real. I just forget that... You know, and not everybody's like me, and some people, you know, get offended really easy, and that's that's fine, you know, that's their prerogative. I just, I forget sometimes, because I'm, you know, I haven't been a, this superstar my whole life. <laughs> it's superstar? Yeah. Really? Yeah. First you sell out Amazon and electric yep. scissors, now you're a superstar? Yep, I am. Oh my goodness. Somebody called me the Martha Stewart of Reesing. <laughs> Did, did, and I did it just like that. I LOL'd. Did, yeah, I just, did they laugh when they said, like, yeah, right, you're the Martha Stewart of everything, yeah. Oh well, God. we all can't be perfect like me, honey. Well, that makes me the Matthew McConaughey. <gasps> all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. right. <laughs> you are my Matthew McConaughey. You're such a cute boy. Okay. Now, as you get closer to the top here, and if you want to save mesh, save on mesh, you can use, um, a, for the last few rows, you can use the uh, white 
cheapy deco mesh from Dollar Tree because um, you really don't see too much of this but just remember you get what you pay for so if you're making a whole wreath with Dollar Tree mesh be prepared to um, get a call that the person's wreath has completely frayed <laughs> and I know this from experience you okay start that row with other mesh where are the wings going in again and what oh. is it patient people holy moly well, well we can answer what it is it's, a, it's, it's going an to be angel. an angel now if you continued if I was to continue up all the holes this will make the most stunning Christmas tree so you're starting to talk like um like like a no not a like um gordon ramsay oh really your words you know like oh. you're going the most stunning tree oh okay so if i continued say if and i put like one of my pull bows because i cheat on my cheater bows look at the red on this tree and then oh, then I can add little ornaments. So I have little stars. What tree? I know, I'm just showing people what you can do. Why are you turning your angel into a tree? I'm not turning it into a tree, I'm just showing what they can do. This is a different kind of petal for a tree. So I found these at Dollar Tree. Are they not like so cute? That's like OCD. You're halfway know. through the wreath and then you go, Oh, look at this. We can make, pretend it's a tree. Well, I'm showing them how they can make a tree out of the same petal as the angel, because I didn't do this one yet. So look how you can see. You guys get the gist. Gorgeous tree. All right? But we're making an angel. See, Dave? I didn't confuse them all. Well, I, so, my well, angel is done. It's just that I know you. Like, all of a sudden you're doing one thing. And then because I just wanted to show them what it would look like. I didn't do a tree like this yet. You're not going to be invited to my lives anymore. You want to be mouthy like that. <laughs> so, are you planning on making a tree like that? Well, I maybe, if I have time. I've already made how many different trees there? One, two, three. I made four different trees already and this is another tree that you can make so that's five now oh, anyways okay so I'm done the angel's body now I'm going to get the wings ready so for the wings I'm going to get be using <laughs> I know I'm gonna beat the crap out of them I'm gonna use this really high glitter deco mesh the premium one and I'm also going to use the basket weave, I think. Maybe I should use... I'm seeing which ones I want to use. Are you questioning me? You are not creative in the creativity department. You are in construction. Dave, be good. This is her showcase. I know, right? Anita, I, I hate to tell you, a lot of people show up to see me here. No, nobody shows up to see you, honey. Okay, so to make the wings... I'm going to do it a little bit different than Michelle. I want my wings really big because I want this to be like a wow statement. And it's not too wow that it doesn't fit on your front door, but it's wow enough that, you know, when people walk by, they actually stop <laughs> to look at it. Ah, that was a good juice. This one's one of my favorites. It's got a lot of orange in it. Okay. So I'm going to need six pieces for each side of the angel wing. So I'm going to do three of the high metallic. Peggy, how do you know I wear panties? And three <laughs> of the basket weave. Sorry. I'm sorry. I see she told me not to get my panties and it's a twist. All right. Get yourself a, 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 a clothespin and a pipe cleaner. Now to do this wing, I'm like I said, I'm going to do a big wing. So I'm going to scrunch it from here to here. So I'm just going to go along. Is that what I did? Hold on. No. No, that's not what I did. Are you asking me? No. What I'm going to do is with the fold up. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put it in the center. Put this in the center. 
and then I'm going to just squish the bottom like this. Now it's going to roll a bit because this this mesh is quite temperamental and delicate. That's why I said maybe I studied the dictionary today. <laughs> maybe it's all this nutrients from my juice that's bringing my brain cells alive again. Did you ever think of that? So this tail right here, we're going to cut that off. So there's one. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to fold over, fold over, and then I'm going to scrunch. It's about, about five inches on the bottom. So this is, so there's two. So as you can see, so this one doesn't get thin quite as nice as the other one, but we'll see. Once we squish it all in there. So. I think you need a little vodka in that juice. I do. Want to help me with that? Three. I really like the way Michelle did her angel wings last night. And I am going to have to make myself Oh, what am I doing? See, I'm not even thinking. I'm going to have to make myself a rose gold one, too. Because that was just too stunning, my friend. You did good job. Good job, grasshopper. You're going to into bed? Good night, my lolly. So, four. Good night. Did you get your project done? You got lipstick on me. I don't have lipstick on. You don't? No. So one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. So if I order you cut the right lengths and you have all the material for that. What? I'm not sure what you're saying, Bev. Flip this over. So if I order you okay. Good night, honey. So I have six of these long petal looking things in my clothespin. Now you might not want to try this with the cheapy wood clothespins from Dollar Tree, but when you have the good super de duper clothespins, they work wonderful. So I'm going to do a zip tie around this whole bundle. Take my love you. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight, but not super, super tight. Okay, just tight enough. And then I'm going to cut. I think I was asking if you have all the materials to buy. Oh. Well, the mesh, you can buy anywhere. Not in Canada, but in the States, you pretty much can buy anywhere. I did have zip ties and all kinds of stuff. They're all sold out, but I am getting more in. My timered lights, they are also coming in, but they're not coming in, I think, till the first week of October, she said, so. All right. It's a good way to make turkey feathers, too. Yep. That's uh, what I'm Okay. Using. So when I flip over the board, these, I have my arrows marked here of what holes I'm going to go into. Let me cut, let me just cut these first. So pull and tighten as you're popping them into the hole. Okay. You want to make sure they're nice and tight because you don't want your petals sliding out. Now for one to slide out, you have to really be tugging on it. This one, I'm not going to need the thing on. Not this one, Vicky, but yeah, you can put lights in it. Yeah, I did put lights in... The feather one I did, and that I'm doing that one tomorrow. Okay, now I'm going to take my my wire cutters, and don't do this with your good scissors because you will dull your scissors after a while. Get yourself a pair of wire cutters. Even the wire cutters from Dollar Tree, they're better than dulling your scissors. Or buy some scissors and just dedicate them to snipping off the tails of the zip ties. So if you could 
Oh, I made one mistake here. My, Not you. Yeah. I you? do make, yep, I make mistakes, hon. Oh, True story. Oh, I never believed it. Yep. One of these zip ties is wrong. It's one. It's like that game, you know, where you have to... You've seen it here first, folks. I did something <laughs> Shut wrong. up. Okay, so I have these two holes that I'm going to be using. Even though they have a zip tie in them, I'm going to use what I call a shared hole. So I'm going to take a zip tie. I'm going to go through the back of that hole here where I have my arrow. Now it's just pencil, so if I were to sell this wreath, I would just erase that pencil mark. Okay, so it's in through the hole, and it's like an L shape, so it's on the table. And I'm going to take my end of my zip tie, the tail, and I'm going to go feed it through the back zip tie. Let me pull this out so you guys can see. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the end of my zip tie and I'm going down through the zip tie that's already on the wing. Terrible. That's okay. It. There are no mistakes in crafting. So this is basically what I'm doing, but it would be attached to the board. Okay, so once it's in there, you can pull on this one really tight and then snip off the tail. Now, hopefully I can feed this back through. Welcome, Rhonda. Thanks for coming out. From Missouri. Oh, time. there we go. You're not even listening to me. Well, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, so I'm going to now go th with my zip tie. It's around the edge of the board here. I'm going through the, with the tail and the head. So I'm using the very outside hole around the edge of the board. And I'm going to zip this to the board. Oh, mesh likes to stick with mesh. Okay. You never listen to me anymore. Okay. So... Can you guys see that? So I just went through the outside of the board in this hole. I went down through that zip tie of the bunch of petals there. Okay, and you'll see this sticking out. What you're going to do, I probably should have cut a little bit more off, but I'm going to move this around. And tighten this a little bit more and pop it into the hole and pop that one into the hole and cut my zip ties off okay now I have my hot glue gun already on and I use gorilla glue sticks for everything so um, I'm just gluing this on the board here a little bit just plopping some glue down just so the tail will stick in now you could have the end of the um, bunch of petals for the wing on the outside of the board but again it won't lay flat uh, because it's on the back side so if you just stick a little bit of glue in there push it down hey Scott hey Scott Scott went shopping I was almost late for my life tonight because I was watching all the amazing stuff he bought. Oh my god, you guys. Scott, when are you going to have your stuff up on your website? I need some, like, now. I need it yesterday. If you don't sell your wreaths, what do you do? You usually donate them. Yeah, I usually donate my wreaths um, to different charities and stuff. Uh, I used to sell them. But uh, now I just teach them and then when I'm done with them, um, I, I have different charities I like to donate to, and then I also go to the um, retirement homes at Christmas and stuff, and give, you know, three or four wreaths per t retirement home, um, just to decorate their, their place up a little bit. So there we go. Uh, can you guys see? There's one side. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, to, just to make it a little fuller, and kind of the wing to go around its fa the face, I'm going to take a piece of just this normal white metallic that I was using on the body, and I'm going to scrunch it up like I did to make the petals for the body, and just fold it. And I'm going to put that piece right here. 
So when I go to put the head on, it's kind of uh, kind of surrounding it's the, the angel's face. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So uh, it's another shared hole. So it's the hole right beside this wing. I'm going to go around the inside. So I'm doing it a little bit different. And I'm going around the outside and zipping that petal right onto the frame. Yeah, he got a, he bought a bunch of trees. I sent him a horse too. He's making a tree and then a, and then we'll ruin the angel. Well, I seen your shopping spree, Scott, and my gosh, I had to stop. So I gotta go watch the re the replay. But just the stuff I saw you, I was in heaven. You are so lucky. Okay. So that side is now done. Now I'm going to do the exact same to the other side. So I'm going to take my mash. I'm going to fold it. Just overlapping corner to corner, kind of in the middle. Squishing around. I don't know, it's about three quarters of the way up is, is the actual wing. Get my zip tie, or my clothes pins. So what kind of sale, is Scott still there? What kind of sale was it, Scott? Like, I, I know it's at Craig Bachman, but was it a really good, like, sale? There's a few horse videos. I gotta make a basket. Yeah, he was somewhere in, in, in yeah, Craig Bachman, and it's in Illinois somewhere. Why do I keep wanting to scrunch it that way? <laughs> okay, now this goes in the middle here. Yeah, so if you wanted to add lights, you would add lights. You can tape them right to your board. And then as you're adding your petals on, they will, the, the lights would actually be zip tied right onto your board, into your design. So... Close out item sale. Pretty oh, item sale. is it like a yearly thing or seasonal thing or? Because he had some amazing stuff when he was showing his live. Frankfurt, Illinois. Oh, Frankfurt, Illinois. Okay. We say it like you know where. No, it no, is. no. I no. I I <laughs> thought it was for some reason. I thought it was Chicago or yeah. something. What are you saying? Well, you I don't know my geography. <laughs> I don't know geography. <laughs> he knows me too well. All right, one more. What time of day is it? It is 9.12. 9.12. Oh. You don't want to get in on Isabel's Isabel. Because I'm talking too much. I want to see what wreath she's making. She's from Atlanta, so falcons? Is that... The Atlanta Falcons is the... You wouldn't even know. You don't watch football. Shh, don't tell me. <laughs> You're such my, a girly girl. I'll have to give in my man card. He watches dances with, Dancing with the Stars. I do not. <laughs> don't be telling stories. I do not. There's nothing wrong with the Dancing with the Stars. Oh, my goodness. I do not watch Dancing Oh, with babe. The stars. I watch documentaries. Yeah, he doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. And he doesn't watch sports. No. And he doesn't gamble. Do I have, like, the perfect I, no, spouse I, or what? No, I have my cigars now. Oh, yeah, he has very expensive cigars. Because he thinks he's freaking Rockefeller. 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 All right, where's my arrows? So I'm going in here. Okay, and I'm going to feed. Make sure your wings are going the right way. I'm going to feed this through the back of this now if you watch Michelle's you can incorporate her wings if you like her way and then my pedal or you can even make your own like figure out your own I just like this way because I liked the big wings that really gave it the wow factor although um, 
Supermarket Joe's going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yeah, from Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah, we just finished watching Bachelor in Paradise. Oops, I was supposed to say that. <laughs> See, I told you, he's a girly girl. He watches Bachelor in Paradise with me. This, the wings take a little bit to, to do. I should probably have cut. I watch Bachelor in Paradise because of the cheesy beginning opening frame. <laughs> that is, that is so much cheese on that one. So much cheese? So much cheese. Alright, we're almost done this, guys. Lori watches the Housewives of Everything. I watch Housewives of Everything. That's my not... Because I like to watch television that I don't have to think. Do you guys like All Get Me? Like, you know, you just want to not think about anything. And Housewives of Anything, it's just like... It destroys brain cells. It just, yeah, Dave says it destroys brain cells. <laughs> okay. So I glued that down. And then I'm going to fold over the petals here so you don't see it. And then you don't end up seeing it either because I'm actually going to be putting a bow on my angel. Now you can put whatever you want on your angel. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a breast cancer um, awareness angel. Really, really easily. Like really easy. <laughs> I haven't watched Judge Judy in a long time. No. Uh, and then I'm going to take just one piece of this normal deco mesh. And so it just so it frames the face. And that's, that's it, my friends. And then we'll put the head on. Let Judge Judy this. is the highest paid person on TV. Google. That's still next year because I'm going to be on TV. I'll be the <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm going to leave this this uh, zip tie in the center of the two holes because that's where I'm going to tie in my um, my bow. So I have to because it, I've already wrote bow, so it has to go there. And then this one goes around. Why didn't I do that already? It'll be posted, Kat. Uh, What's that? On our YouTube channel. What will, honey? Um, this? Yeah, this video. Yeah. I, tr I forgot to do the unicorn from the other day, but I try to remember to put all the videos onto YouTube. And then Tanya organizes them so nicely for you guys. I'm not that organized. Oh. Jen just showed up. Thanks for coming out, Jen. Hey, Jen. A little late, aren't you? <laughs> hey, it's better late than never. What role do you start putting on ruffles? Um, I will post it when, when I'm done. I think it's do four rows of this type of petal, and then the rest ruffles. Yeah, I know all about that, Jen. Life does get in the way yeah. sometimes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my head. Still... I think I put it in water here. Now, like I said, I just put some glitter glue on it. You can't tell from the camera, but it is sparkly. You can put a face on. I like to keep it nice and simple. I think I'm going to double. I think I'm going to double my boa. So it's a little bit of a thicker. She makes. Yeah, so you can actually see the halo a lot better. Judge with Judy double. Oh, sorry. Judge Judy makes $47 million a year and works 52 days. Chris Googled it today as we were driving home. Uh, really? How, how, how do you get into a conversation about Judge Judy driving home? Well, you knew she was the highest paid. Yeah, I heard it somewhere before. Okay, so I'm just gluing the one end on the back of the head and then going around. Now I have two pieces of this marabou feather, and then I'm no, going to glue. Jen, it hasn't. I'm sorry. I, I keep checking every day, and it has not come Yeah, but yet. where did she send it? To Canada or to the state's address? 
Oh. Which address did you give her? I can't remember. I think I might have gave her my brother's. Oh. Is Jackie still on here? No. I'm going over there tomorrow, so. Yes, uh, she did just cut a styrofoam. I cut a styrofoam ball in half. This is a six-inch styrofoam oh, ball. Oh, she sent it to the state's address. Okay. I'm go I'll get it tomorrow, Jan. Carol says Dr. Phil is the second highest paid. Is he? She's just a fountain of knowledge. Who is that? Carol. Okay. There's my head. That's all I'm doing to my head. I don't want to add <laughs> hands. I don't want to add eyes. I don't want to add anything. Now, you guys can do whatever you want. I like to keep mine simple. That's just because he wanted to get home so he could watch her. It's his favorite show. Oh, uh, really? Ugh. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so now what I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys when I first started. You're going to want to ha put your hanging string. So I just put it through here and here. And you just tie a double knot. Uh, you can use twine. I went and got myself this big, huge roll because I have to make... 400 of them for the convention. So you want to put your hanging string through there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is this right here is where I'm going to put my bow. So I want to make sure that these holes are not going to be covered. But I also want to make sure that the top of the head is going to cover the end of the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue, and this is why I use Gorilla Glue. Because Styrofoam and Gorilla Glue, it doesn't come apart. So you want to make sure your head's straight, because I put a halo on already. Okay, and now I'm going to lift this up. And I put glue here, and then I'm going to lift this one up. So you can see there's these little ends of these pieces of the angel's body. So I'm making sure that the top of my head is right at the end of the board. So it's covering that end of the board there. But I also have the two holes here that I'm going to tie my bow on. Tornado sirens went off here in Wayne, Michigan. Ooh. Be safe, Marge. Ottawa got one in Quebec. Yeah. yeah. So I pre made a bow. Um, you could put hair on it too. Where am I, Angel? You can put whatever you want. I'm just doing the Angel like I like it. You can put a halo, like a halo sticking up. Um, if you don't want a bow, you can put some more deco mesh into a ruffle that will cover that. And then you could put like a pick. So you would take this off. This is a really pretty pick. Is that a six inch? Uh, that was not a six inch ball. Yes, it's a yes, six it inch a ball six inch cut in half. So you can play around and do whatever you want. I'm keeping mine simple. I made this double looped bow. And then I have these white pull bows. They're, I call them cheater bows. Um, so I just tied that onto this double bow. And then I'm just going to feed the ribbon or your wire or whatever you're using for your bow through the two holes right in the middle so her I know her bow will be right center of her head everybody's getting a big view of your head sorry <laughs> <laughs> this is Lori's head <laughs> hi the ribbon is bending on me hold on a second a pencil or something to push it down. You know there's some animals building a nest in there? In where? My head? Yeah. That's not very nice of you. I there know. we go. It's funny. So there's one. And then I'm going to put... Am I almost done? I don't want to miss Isabelle's. So as you can see, this is not very hard to do whatsoever. And it really does make quite the wow factor because when I I'll, when I show hang it up, you guys will see what I mean. All right, so it fed the bow through those two holes, and then now I'm just going to tie it onto the board. Oh, I got called not right. Jan called me not right. Oh, she didn't say it right though. You're supposed to say Jan. You're supposed to say you ain't right, Dave. You ain't right, Dave. That's what Michelle says. Together, forever. 
Do you notice when you watch her, she doesn't say her ers like together. Everything is ah. Uh. So I'm going to learn that when I go and hang with her next month. I'm going to learn how to talk Texan. When I come back home, I'm going to talk like Dr. Phil. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. All right. We're done. You're done. I am done. With six minutes to spare. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. Okay, let's see how it looks. What do you guys think? I wish you guys could see this. This ribbon I got, it is so pretty. It's got like a Swarovski like crystals in it. So it's the shiniest ribbon I've ever seen. Brenda Reese speaks very highly of you. Thanks, Brenda, because she comes and visits me and we chit chat. I love her. I hope her mom's feeling better. Okay. There is my angel. Of course, I'm going to go around and trim, but I'd usually do that outside. i got to fix this. This one. Are you going to hang it up? So you... Yes, I'm going to hang it up. Okay. Oh, i got to show them my horse. So, remember I did the black horse, and I wanted to do, I was waiting to see to get a, a really nice poinsettia to, for my black beauty. And I found this gorgeous red poinsettia. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Holy. Now, this would sell probably for about $75. It's like two feet tall. And, and you guys seen, you can cut your costs without people noticing. So, like I said, use the cheaper mesh for a filler. Um, use expensive mesh for the wings, like the wings are what you really see when you're looking at the the um, angel. Sorry, guys, I'm just trimming a little bit. We're looking at your camera bottoms. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Can you come and hold the camera? Okay, I'm taking this off. Hopefully, I don't lose you guys. Yay. Okay. So look at my black beauty. Look at the really pretty poinsettia. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is like my favorite horse. And that is just Feather Boa from Dollar Tree in the Halloween section. It has like tinsel and stuff in it. So, and I wanted a really nice poinsettia to put on them. Isn't it pretty? So you can see exactly how I made this. Um, I did a unicorn uh, Sunday. And I did it the exact same style as I made the horse. So the horse is made with just felt I got from Hobby Lobby. It's like a fuzzy felt. The chain, it's not real chain. It's just cord and I, I uh, uh, braided it. And of course the Unique in the Creek horse board. Uh, a poinsettia and this really cool boa. And I think that took me an hour and a half to make. Pretty cool, huh? Honey, can you come hold this? I'm going to hang up the angel, and, you, and then I'll let you guys go. Okay. So, that is, like oh, I said... Feathers in your, on your angel? You're doing feathers on your angel tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing a different angel. Okay, I'm going to hang up the angel. Oh, oh my God, my God. Yes, Robin, we sell it. The, the uh, website is post pinned at the bottom of the page. So, I will be bringing a lot of this to convention. All right. So let's pull out the wing. I could have probably did the whole wings in that that metallic deco mesh. That would look pretty too. But I didn't want too much matchy matchy. Mm hmm. Are you like saying mm hmm and mm -hmm. listening or mm hmm? I'm just waiting for you to get out of the way oh, so okay. everybody can see that. Why? They don't want to see my butt? Do not focus in on my butt, Franklin. <laughs> I wasn't going to until you just said that. <laughs> you did last time. I know. 
But then everybody told me there's something wrong, uh, that I ain't right. You aren't right. All right. This angel wing right here. When are you doing the rose? When we get the... When, we when get... I get the plastic. Okay. Oh, my here, gosh. Take your phone. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch this around, guys. Isn't that pretty? So you seen how easy it was to make. So styrofoam ball, my wings. Like I said, I maybe I should have did the whole thing wings metallic, but and then I really like this simple body. And like I said, you can do it this way. I will here's the other one. Oh, his her bow is a little messed, but I did half the body in the same style as I just showed you and the top half of the body I did the ruffles and I did a much bigger bow and then I just used all white for the wings but I did the sa head the same and this one I don't know I think I like this one better so you can do golds, you can do you can do whatever colors you want, right? So uh, I think the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy Michelle and do rose gold and ivory. Okay, why won't this flip around? Alright. And that's it, guys. That is the one angel. I love this horse. This is like my favorite horse. See what I meant about the sparkly poinsettia? Yeah, we need the sparkle in there. Right, babe? Yeah. And here is the unicorn I made on the... Ah! Hi, say hi, hon. Hi, hon. So this unicorn I made on a Facebook Live on Sunday, and it's done exactly the same way as I did the black horse. Uh, it's got to... Both of them got to be... Lint, linted. Okay. Reports are different prices, Deborah. Yeah, go to our website and you can see them all. Yeah. You guys want to see the rose frame or the flower frame? So it's not going to be this color. It's going to be lighter. But as you can see, this is it's the same thickness. Uh, this is not breakable. It's weatherproof. Um, the hanging holes, there's no more stamps. The hanging holes is chamfered in. There's, for teaching purposes. We make the frames, Ellen. Yeah, we make the frames. For teaching purposes, um, each set of holes has a numbered circumference. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. So when you're teaching, you can say, okay, now we're using row number two, and this is the petals you, you do. So, but, um... Your customer will not see this side of the board. They will see this side of the board, which will have, it has Unique in the Creek stamp, uh, etched in our website and made in Canada. And these are amazing. Amazing. I cannot wait. So, yes, as soon as we get them, the very first thing I'm doing is the flower tutorial. So, I'll know exactly, I'm sweating here. I'll know exactly what, um, soon I'll, uh, as soon as I know the date that we will be getting plastic, I will be doing the rose tutorial, and you guys will be the first to know. Whoo, look how hot I am sweating. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoyed that. Again, easy peasy. I know I, I make it look easy, but it really is. After you use our boards a few times... It really is no-brainers. Like, you really do not have to think. Uh, when I'm making a wreath, I I very rarely look down from the TV when I'm making my wreaths. So, um, you do get used to it. And um, if you've mastered it hot for your breath, first yeah. time... No, I think I'm just really... It's really hot and damp in here. Wrap it up and go over to Isabel now. Yeah. Uh, if, you've done, if you do your rose and it turns out the first time, then you are smooth sailing it's it, it's quite easy and there's many 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 tutorials and if you're still having problems just message me I'm so glad to help like any way I can I, I will help and um, 
thank you again for all your support. And I hope you guys like the new centers I made. There's a lot of cute ones. I don't know. If that was me, I don't know what my favorite would be. So, but if you have a request and you for a center, just message me and I will uh, do what I can to make something up for you. And uh, tomorrow is buy one, get one 50% off your, uh, of all the centers. So if there's a couple that uh, caught your eye, um, this week is the time to buy it. And then you'll have your centers and then the plastic will be here and you'll be good to go. Okay, guys. Um, sorry we're not that fun today. Usually we're cracking up and everything. I think we're just both really tired. So, hi, Lori. Yes, I'm going to be doing a new one on Lori's Facebook page tomorrow. Another angel. It's, uh, it's going to be really fast and, um, on a uh, hardworking mom. So I hope you guys all in, uh, join me tomorrow there too. And I'm going to get off now so we can watch Isabel from Sparkles in Atlanta. She is doing a football inspired wreath with Unique in the Creek Frames. Okay. And if you want to see the other angel that was done, please go over to Monkey's Creations and uh, tell Michelle hi and make sure you like her page. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Okay? Bye. bye. Say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys.